I need a car. Inexpensive but reliable. Can you service me? In a matter of speaking, yes, sir. Welcome to Wormwood Motors. Harry Wormwood. Owner, founder, whatever. Agatha Trunchbull. Principal, Cruncham Hall Elementary School. Huh. I warn you, sir. I want a tight car because I run a tight ship. Oh, yeah, huh? Well, uh, my school is a model of discipline. Use the rod, beat the child. That's my motto. Terrific motto. You have brats yourself. Yeah, I got a boy, Mikey, and one mistake, Matilda. They're all mistakes, children. Filthy, nasty things. Glad I never was one. Everyone is born, but not everybody is born the same. Some will grow to be butchers or bakers or candlestick makers. Some will only be good at making jello salad. One way or another, though, every human being is unique, for better or for worse. Most parents believe their children are the most beautiful creatures ever to grace the planet. Others take a less emotional approach. What a waste of time, and painful, and expensive. $9.25 for a bar of soap? Well, I had to take a shower, Harry. $5,000? I'm not paying it. What are they going to do? Repossess a kid? Look, Miss Snit. A girl does not get anywhere by acting intelligent. I mean, take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. I have a nice house, a wonderful husband, and you were slaving away teaching snot-nosed children their ABCs. You want Matilda to go to college? <laughs> college? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't go to college. I don't know anybody who did. Bunch of hippies and a cesspool salesman. <laughs> don't sneer at educated people, Mr. Wormwood. If you became ill, heaven forbid, your doctor would be a college graduate. Yeah. Or say you were sued for selling a faulty car. The lawyer who defended you would have gone to college too. What car? Sued by who? Who you been talking to? Nobody. I can see we're not going to agree, are we? Daddy, you're a crook. What? This is illegal. You make money? Do you have a job? No, but don't people need good cars? Can't you sell good cars, Dad? Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm bigger, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huh. What was my profit for the day? Could you repeat the last one? $10,265. Check it if you don't believe me. You're a little cheap. You saw the paper. From all the way over here. Are you being smart with me? If you're being smart with me, young lady, you're going to be punished. Punished for being smart? For being a smart aleck. When a person is bad, that person has to be taught a lesson. Person? Get up! Get up! Harry Wormwood had unintentionally given his daughter the first practical advice she could use. He had meant to say, when a child is bad. Instead, he said, when a person is bad, and thereby introduced the, a revolutionary idea that children could punish their parents. Only when they deserved it, of course. Can you spell? Miss Honey taught us how to spell a long word yesterday. We can spell difficulty. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. She taught us with a poem. A poem? How sweet! What poem would that be? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mr. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Why are all these women married? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, you're supposed to be teaching spelling, not poetry. Amanda Thrip. Yes, Miss Trunchbull. What are those? What's what, Miss Trunchbull? Hanging down by your ears. You mean my pigtails? Are you a pig, Amanda? No, Miss Trunchbull. Do I allow pigs in my school? My mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a twin.